Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. Many a times we have to work with text in Microsoft Excel and we end up making our text look like this if it is a long line of text. So it goes on and on and on and on and we have no idea what to do to make it look something like this so that it fits in a cell and you can see it and read it all together. So welcome to my e-lesson and this is the problem that I'm going to solve today for you. Excel has two options to handle this problem. One is wrap text and the other one is merge and center. I'll explain both of these to you. Well, when we start writing in Excel, you may end up writing really, really long line of texts or you may end up copying really long text, correct? And then it is something like this and you then think what can be done. Well, if there is text like this, what can be done is that you go to the home tab after selecting your text and go to wrap text. Well, what it does is the wrap text, it wraps multiple lines of text into just one cell and that also is customizable. How? I'll show you. So I'm going to click over here and now this text is much more readable, isn't it? If I want, I can go ahead and increase its width and decrease its height just so that it suits my purpose. What could be easier than this? Would you like to know the shortcut of it? It's one of the easiest shortcut. Alt H W. That's the shortcut. Alt H W. If you press it again, it will go back to its normal position. So I'm going to press Alt H W again. And there we are. Well, you can also learn about Merge and Center. But before that, let me tell you that you can also download our application, our mobile application from your phone's application store. Just type in my e-lesson and you should be able to see it. Now, I am going to try to address one other problem. Say, for example, this data belongs to a store in the eastern region of the city and we have such and we have four such stores all right like this like this is east and this is west this is north and this is south let me make this more readable so i'm going to adjust the size of this column i'm going to use the shortcut alt h o i see same here select this alt h o i now this is like i said was for east so if i write east over here and i increase the font so it doesn't make sense correct the east is also applicable in these two columns so if i write east over here how does it help me? It doesn't. So by the way, I copied this text from here to here using the command control C and control V. So you do a right click and you can copy and you do a right click and you can paste. Same thing can be done by using control C to copy and control V to paste. Now I don't want this correct. This is to be reflected in three cells. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this cell along with these two cells all right and then i'm going to merge and center now this has become one cell all right and it looks much better now now there are some things that you should know about like for example i've written some dummy data over here one and two now i'll go ahead and merge this so what would happen which text would prevail? Which text would get combined? Let us see. 
it says merging cells only keep the upper left value and discards all other values that means this one and two would be deleted only east would remain so if you are trying to do merge and center just ensure that your data is properly formatted now there are other options also you have merge and center you have merged across also let me show you how so i'm going to delete these now we will do merge across so the cells have merged if you see now this is one single cell you don't see these differentiating lines these cells have merged but it is still on the left hand side you can now go over here and bring it to the center and then you have just merged cells so the cells would be merged and nothing would happen to the data and if you want to bring it back to the original position you can unmerge so now you have your normal cells and the shortcut for this is alt h m c super easy so this is how we work with text to make it much more readable and presentable in excel i hope you like this video see you in the next video